Hello, let me tell you about my six favorite things. Number one, my kids are of course my favorite things in the whole wide world. My son is a university student now in New York City and my daughter is in the fifth grade. And I often joke that my middle child is my PhD since it was technically born between the two kids. And it's by far my most expensive child. Here's some pictures of my two kids. Number two, traveling. I travel every chance I get. It's hard to really name what my favorite places are, uh, but most of them are in Asia. I would definitely say Angkor Wat in Cambodia is number one. Some places in India like the Taj Mahal. Uh, I love Okinawa and everything about Okinawa. Throughout Mongolia, uh, especially in Ulaanbaatar, they're some of my favorite places. And I've seen different parts of the Great Wall, but I like the places that are less touristy. Um, and one of the places I really like is called Muay Tanya. And I also like a lot of places, of course, in uh, the States, throughout North America, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Oceania, uh, the Pacific Islands, and of course, Central America and the Caribbean. They're all beautiful, um, but my heart is in Asia, so I have to say that my favorite places are here. Here are a couple of pictures from Anchor Wat. Here's a picture of my son when he was about two and a half when we went to the Taj Mahal for the first time. Here is a Ryukyu dance in Okinawa at the high school that I was teaching at. Here's my son again when he was about uh, two or three um, at a gear camp outside of Ulaanbaatar, uh, close to the desert. And here's a picture with my daughter a few years ago at Muitanyu. The view there was just amazing. Number three, it's kind of related to travel because I like to travel to these places, uh, but the beach is by far uh, one of my favorite things in the whole wide world, especially on nice sunny hot days. Um, I love scuba diving and swimming and snorkeling and kayaking, and even though it's not politically correct, I do love to sunbathe with the appropriate SPF 30 on. And of course, you can imagine that's why I came to Guam because it has some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Here are some pictures of my beaches in Guam. Number four, I love Christmas and I love everything about Christmas. The trees, the lights, the decoration, the smells, the spirit, uh, and just that overall feeling of goodwill that many people have. Um, Today is March 7th, I think, and I still have my Christmas tree up and my lights are still on outside and I turned them on last night. And uh, let's see how long I can keep them up. Uh, this is us over Christmas last year in New York at Bryant Park. And this is my daughter at my office. Number five, I love pets. I've always had a soft spot in my heart for pets, all types of pets. Um, on Guam, the pet situation, um, the animal situation is really sad. So I've taken it on the last few years to foster orphan, abandoned, and sick pets until I can find them a forever home. And right now I have two dogs, three cats, and two rabbits that are mine. And I'm fostering three kittens until I go uh, to the T-cell conference next week. Here's my daughter with some of the kittens. And this was uh, a puppy that we took care of, Root Beer, who got hit by a car and whose leg had to be amputated. And number six, shopping in the United States and specifically in the United States because the United States has the best shopping in the entire world. Prices are cheap. Uh, they have my size and my style and everything. And because I've lived in Asia for so long, where of course women are much shorter and much more petite, um, I really haven't enjoyed shopping in Asia. So I'm one of those people who um, I go to the States with one suitcase, often very empty, and I end up coming back with six. And that's just for me. 
I especially love outlet malls and I will drive for hours in the States to get to the best outlet mall. Um, but recently, thanks to technology, I've begun to support Amazon a lot to help make that guy one of the richest, well, the richest man in the world. And uh, for the last few years, I've become really addicted to Scentsy because I have all these pets and my house is probably quite stinky. So I need Scentsy to uh, make the air smell nice. And recently, I've become a Scentsy consultant because I love it so much. And here are a couple of places, uh, the F.A.L. Schwartz uh, place in Macy's in New York and part of my Scentsy collection. So that's it. Thanks for learning about my favorite things.